Uh, with the Nano Printer, I have been able to implement all my ideas when it comes to uh, decorating biosensors with nanoparticles. I really like that I can uh, uh, choose between uh, a lot of different parameters and get exactly the size and quantity of nanoparticles that I desire and also combine different materials. The spark ablation technique has been uh, advantageous for me since I am working with uh, soft implants, which means they are made of polymers, uh, which means that they don't like wet chemical processes. Usually uh, nanoparticles are created with the wet chemical processes conventionally, but now with the spark ablation method, uh, is a dry process, so uh, this is beneficial for that. So the, the P1 printer helps me print a wide range of metals, metal oxides, on virtually any substrate, plastics, paper, uh, silicon, that we are familiar with in our clean room. And because it's so versatile, it's easy to do a quick test, a collaboration, um, you can try many different orientations of your sample, many recipes, which makes it a flexible and easy to use tool. And uh, also, uh, we can use the printer locally, which means no further processing steps are required. Uh, so I really like that. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that uh, nanoparticles and nanotechnology is the future of medicine and medical technology. And we as, particle, uh, we as Particles Nanoprinter has made it very easy to create new materials and could make it easier to fabricate medical devices. The best thing about it is that you can change your materials really easily. So if you say, I want to use platinum instead of gold or silver, you can do that within 15 minutes. So you can try a lot of different recipes real fast.